Good morning guys, it's Wednesday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Welcome to What I Ate Wednesday. But um, before I share with you what I am eating as my first meal this morning, I wanted to talk about my workout. Today I am doing the squat challenge the five minute squat challenge to be exact and I know that you know squatting for five minutes you know it might not seem like a whole lot to you but for me at about three minutes into the workout um, I want to quit <laughs> but here lately I've been kind of pushing through it and I'm gonna film the entire um, part of that uh, of the workout and it would be nice if you guys would kind of join in with me let me know how far you get with the five minute squat challenge because you know what they say you know misery loves company so um, if you do the challenge leave a comment below and let me know how it goes for you but um, before I start my workout I'm actually sitting outside right now it's so pretty outside today it was a little cooler this morning that's why I have this jacket on but I'm gonna take it off here in a minute but um, yeah so before I start the five minute squat challenge I'm gonna go inside and show you guys um, what I'm having for breakfast this morning all right so before I eat anything here lately and I think I mentioned it in my last video that I have been drinking the Bragg apple cider vinegar little recipe I started drinking it because um, I suffer with sinus infections. I get them each year, and so my primary care physician kind of suggested that I, you know, give it a try because it's supposed to clear up your sinuses, and it has really been helping. Um, Eric actually started drinking it for the first time a couple of weeks ago, maybe about a week and a half ago, and he said it's not too bad. I like to think if you put it in a really pretty glass, it doesn't taste so bad. Um, and I'll leave my little recipe down below you'll see it kind of scrolling along the screen here and that's just one that um, my doctor kind of passed off to me but you can find the recipes anywhere um, but like I said in the last video once you start to drink it, it re it's really not that bad You do get a little of that kick from the cayenne pepper, but once it's once it passes, it's not that bad. All right, so I've had my apple cider vinegar little <laughs> concoction. Ah. Um, so now I'm going to I'm gonna let that kind of settle in, and then I'm gonna have some oatmeal. And let me pull that out, and I'll show you the type of oatmeal um, that I'm having for breakfast this morning. So this is the oatmeal that I am having this morning. This has become one of my um, new or recent favorites. I typically do the Quaker Oats. Um, you get a lot of that texture you get with the Quaker Oats oatmeal. Um, this also has flax seeds in it and a lot of other little um, grains in it. There's only one gram of sugar and um, you know with all the oatmeal you get a lot of protein so i like that the other neat thing too about this particular oatmeal is it comes with um, a built-in measuring pouch as you saw i use the almond milk right there for my oatmeal but um once you empty in your oatmeal you can you know go ahead and just empty your liquid whether you use milk or water right into here and you don't you know have to mess up a, a cup or anything so i'm going to go ahead and pop this into the microwave really quickly and then once it's all done i will chop up this banana into it i'm going to enjoy that and then i'm going to head downstairs to the basement i actually think maybe i'll work out outside i do my i'll do my um squat challenge outside and i hope you guys come out there and join me i hope i see you out there doing the five minute squat challenge okay i did it yesterday and um, my legs are a little sore and i'll explain explain more about um the squats and everything later but let me go ahead and eat let me get this into the microwave and i'll see you guys in a little bit
right, so breakfast is all over. It's time to get this workout started. I like to warm up before any workout. So here I just pull my bike right outside of my basement door. I'm gonna warm up for about three to five minutes. And um, then I'm gonna get into the squat challenge. And now, so listen, I know that I said I was going to show the entire squat challenge, but five minutes without it being sped up here on the video as I began to edit it, it was just too long. So I had to speed it up. And so as you watch uh, me do the squat challenge, you'll see I have a bench back there. I do not go parallel. For my knees going parallel, mm -mm, it's just not gonna work. So I use my bench to make sure I'm tapping it to sit back as far as I can go. My legs are still sore from yesterday. So um, I'm not sitting back as far in my heels as I should be. But um, most days I do pretty good. Um, those of you who do squats know that you really should sit back in those heels. Um, so don't crucify me here for today's uh, squats. Um, but yeah, as the uh, challenge goes on here, you'll see my face. I am struggling to get up. This squat challenge is brutal. So guys, let me know if you actually, you know, do, uh, do this challenge. And um, so after a much needed break, I got on my push-ups. I did 20 push-ups. You can count them. I didn't speed it up. I did those 20 push-ups. Um, and so, yeah, because I just love uh, to see us ladies uh, with nice toned arms. And so after I did my arms, I went out and I did a three-mile run. And I came back and I took my shower and took a little break. The workout is over. I hope you guys did that uh, five minute squat challenge along with me. I really wanna hear from you all in the comments, but um, I've obviously finished it and I've showered. And after my workouts, what I like to do is get a little snack of maybe like a smoothie with some protein in it or a protein bar. But unfortunately, I needed to run to Target today. Um, we have one more open house for Chase on tomorrow. Thank goodness it is the last one. I am so glad. But I wanted to pick up a little top, something really inexpensive, hence that's why I am at Target. But um, so... I do like to have something, you know, even though I'm on the go after a workout. So today I just grabbed a little baggie of walnuts, a handful of walnuts and just brought them along with me today. Um, some days if I'm on the go, I will get um, just a little baggie of almonds, but today it's just walnuts. So gonna go in here, see if I can find a top. Eric also needs a few things. So after that, I am absolutely gonna go home and have my lunch. It's just a little bit after 12 right now. So um, I'll probably be kind of starving once I come out of um, Target because uh, after, like, like you saw I did the squats and then I did a little bit on the bike. Um, I did my push-ups, but then I also went to the park up the um, street from my house and did like a three mile run. Um, so, yeah, I'll eat these walnuts in the store, but I know I'm gonna be starving when I come out. So I will show you guys what I have for lunch once I get back home. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this top and um, get back to the house. I didn't see any tops, but they did have this really cute jacket. The only thing is, the only size they have is a large so I'm gonna try it on anyway just to see how it fits maybe it'll fit I see that you can actually kind of cinch it right here in the waist so all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the large it's not that bad it's not too too big in the waist I think if I keep it cinched and then getting the larger size too that way I'll be able to wear like sweaters and stuff under it so I'm going to just go with this I have a few more items that I need to kind of pick up Eric wanted me to pick some things up for him too like I said earlier so I'm gonna do that and then I guess we can go ahead and head home for lunch hey guys I am back from Target and um, I'm working on my lunch right now. So for lunch, I am having one egg, two slices of turkey bacon, um, some toast, um, an avocado, and a couple of slices of tomato. So 
Here are the eggs and bacon right here, cooking away on the stove. Um, I'll go ahead and start my toast. And this is the bread that I'm using right here for my toast. I actually found this bread at Target um, a few months back. This is Dave's Killer Bread. It is so tasty. I would think maybe a lot of, um, I don't know, uh, individuals who work out pro uh, probably eat this bread because it has a lot of protein, I think, for um, a slice of bread. So it has five grams of protein, as you see here. Let's see if you can see that, bring it into the light. Yeah, so five grams of protein, um, five grams of fiber, a bunch of omega-3s, and 20 uh, grams of whole grain. Let me see if I can take a slice out here and show you guys. But that is what the bread looks like. A lot of seeds um, on the top and the bottom there. And it is really, really good. Really, really good. Um, and over here, I have my tomato. And this is my um, avocado that I'm going to finish mashing up here in a minute. And I like to add, don't kill me, <laughs> but I like to add a little... Uh, Parmesan cheese to my avocado just a little bit just a little bit I think it um, you know really gives it like a really really creamy texture and then I wanted to show you guys this I don't know if you have you guys have tried the Tropicana tangerine lemonade this stuff is amazing as you can see here it's just about gone um, Eric and I love that but what I wanted to try today I actually saw this in Target while I was in there today it's the simply lemonade with blueberry so i want to see how that tastes but i have this glass of water right here because you know some of these juices can be really really sweet so what i do is i add about um half water and ice to my glass and um let's see if i can do this with one hand i do equal parts That's good right there, um, of the juice. That way it won't be too sweet, I think. But yeah, uh, let me show oh, let me show you guys um, the jacket that I got. I didn't get the jacket that I tried on in the dressing room. I don't know, I just think it was too big. So I kept looking around in that little area and I came across this little jacket right here. I think this one is really cute. They did have it in a medium. It is by the Marona brand, and it's the same color. It's not as distressed, I think, as the other jacket, but um, I think it's really, really nice. I love that you can also, on this one, cinch in the waist too. So really neat, really neat little feature. And this jacket, like the other one, was $39.99 also. My toast is ready. Nice and toasted and crunchy like I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and plate up my food, enjoy this, and then I will see you guys back, um, I guess, around dinner time. Eric will be with me for In the Kitchen with Tan and Eric, and you guys will get to see what we are cooking up. I remember several of you um, in the last In the Kitchen with Tan and Eric said, I didn't show the food. I think the last thing we made were brownies, and you guys were, you know, a little upset that I didn't show the food. So we will show the um, finished product of today's dinner. So I will um, see you guys back here in the kitchen in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and eat. Then I need to run upstairs and uh, check on Chase's schoolwork. Um, so I'll see you guys later. All right, my lunch is all done. Here is a quick glimpse at it before I devour it. All done up. So yummy. Listen, if you guys don't put... Uh, a little Parmesan, grated Parmesan, I guess that's grated, yeah, grated Parmesan into your um, avocado, you are really missing out. It makes the texture so much more creamy and rich. Give it a try, let me know how you like it. Um, as for the Simply Lemonade and Blueberry, it tastes just like that. Lemonade with blueberries in it. Really, really good. And adding about that much water and ice to the glass and then that much more juice, um, it really doesn't detract from the sweetness of it. It is still really flavorful. So I am getting ready to enjoy my lunch. And like I said, I will see you guys back in the kitchen around dinner time. about what we are 
preparing for dinner today, I would like to first off thank you guys for following me on my um, eating day this Wednesday. The, I have eaten through all of this Wednesday. They have been with me for breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. Okay. So all now right. they're here. Also, I spoke with you, spoke with a lot of you on yesterday regarding this new um, video upload. Um, you know, before Eric and I were just doing videos, what, every, every other two weeks. Every two weeks. Yeah. And we want to apologize for that. We know that that schedule of uploads, it's not a whole lot, right? right? It's not a whole lot, but like I, I think I said in, in yesterday's video, Eric and I homeschool Chase, just think about it for a minute. Let's say you had to be responsible for responsible for every subject that your kid does in school, math, science, social yeah. studies, health. All th that is us right here. So, and even if you don't homeschool, look, we're all adults. Folks are busy. <laughs> but what about the people who do put up videos every day? There are people who upload videos. Every and, day. And, and I get anybody so folks, if you watch people on YouTube, <laughs> families, People that are busy with kids, give them their props because this is not easy. <laughs> because you only see yeah. a little bit of it. Yeah. A 30-minute video was probably about two hours in production yeah. time from yeah. start to finish, all the editing yeah. and stuff like that. But anyway, I really appreciate all of you who requested that we do these videos more often, so we are here for it. Like I said yesterday, uh, down at the bottom of the screen, all that we're asking is that you just continue to watch and support Eric and I. So Eric, what are we making today? Uh, I would gather from this plate here, some type of chicken dish. dish. Yeah, some type of chicken dish. So true to form, I don't really use recipes. So today what we are doing in the kitchen is making um, this pesto and alfredo chicken with some bow tie pasta and a little garden salad on the side. And here's the thing, I hear you. The last in the kitchen with Tan and Eric that I put up, I didn't show brownies. Oh, so you're gonna show this? And some people were upset that we didn't show how the brownies turned out. So I will. They were delicious. They were really good. I will absolutely show how the brownies turned out. But anyway, so we're going to get started. Before we get started, can we talk about, have you told people about your aversion to raw chicken? Did you actually handle this Who chicken? Who likes raw talk? chicken though? I don't want to touch that. She I has like a that. chicken phobia. She's... Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So anyway. add that to the hotel phobia. She'll eat it, but she doesn't like to handle it. By the way, I'm going <laughs> for my first therapist visit on tomorrow. Y'all pray for me. Yeah. Alright, and so I'm going to do... Um, I guess most of the prep work today so we can just move this video along because it's near the end of the day we're hungry and we all know that Eric's chopping cutting are pretty awesome skills now, hey, are, uh, yeah I worked at Chick-fil-a in high school I can handle some chicken rice <laughs> now don't get me up here bread and right, throwing stuff right. on a bun but, it, it, but how long did it take you to do it though I was I ran that kitchen yeah like not. a like a stopwatch anyway Eric's been doing a little reading lately and um, Eric, tell them about the article that you came across. I have my water back here boiling, by the way, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my pasta in. Well, there was an article, I think this is actually, oh, there was an article came out that said, basically said that all women are on some level bisexual. That means on some level, and not that you wanna go marry another woman, but all women find other women I guess attractive on some but level, more so, more so than men. So other men. why, why does you know being able to appreciate the looks of another woman automatically make you bisexual? Well, I think it's a spectrum, mm -hmm. right? They say you know sexuality is a spectrum. Um, Where did I, you read this at? I think it was. It was, was this a national study? Yeah, this was like a medical. Of course, give me your son. No, I'm trying not to cut my fingers off. So, but here, so I believe it because here's my thing. Where did you read this? It was some journal of medicine. Can I, can I make my point? Go ahead. Women, I have observed in my long 40 plus years of life, you do appreciate other women. Right, right y'all appreciate other women. You admire, like, women will compliment other women. Women have girl crushes, I think, more so. A heterosexual woman will have a girl crush. Men don't have men not crushes like, or not guy like you guys, crushes? Not like you guys. What do you mean, not like we do, though? Women, and that's why we had the whole conversation or the video about women friendships. Mm -hmm. I think that's why y'all's friendships are so tricky because you guys develop little crushes and obsessions with each other. So, we're, so we're lesbians because of that? 
No, it's, 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 it varies. So what happened to you the other day? So here's a story. What happened to yours truly the other day when we went on the school tour? What did that lady say? All right, so <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. So, you know, I, I, you guys know that we're doing all these tours, uh, open houses at the schools for Chase. And so I was just there talking to one of the other parents. She actually came up to me. You know, we, you know, at these visits, you have to get up and kind of introduce yourself and, you know, talk about, you know, the background, why you're there, stuff like that. And so, you know, it came out that we're homeschooling. So later we kind of broke up into sessions. And so she came over to me and, you know, she started talking about, you know, how, gosh, you guys homeschool, you know, you're to be committed for that, whatever, whatever. And she's like, oh, and, and I hope it's okay, you know, for me to say this. But she was like, you're beautiful. I just think you're beautiful. Now. So are we gay now? We're, we're lesbians now? Not that there's anything with being gay or lesbian, but I just take offense to this study that's saying if a woman gives another woman a compliment, we're lesbians. So did you see later on in the tour when that guy came up to me and said, man, you are so handsome. You are... Did that happen? No, and it never was. <laughs> <laughs> because... Straight guys don't do that. I have never in my entire life, 40 plus years of being a straight heterosexual male, heard another man. I don't even think I've heard a man compliment another man on his looks. But period. what's wrong with that? I'm not saying it's it. I'm going back to the state. There's absolutely nothing wrong well, with this. Uh, you know what? Here's the thing. Here's my question. Are men more homophobic? I don't think that's it. Than it, women? It, I, I just don't have. It don't never occurs to me. It never even occurs to me. Here's the thing. I don't even know what a handsome guy looks like. Denzel Washington, you know, Brad Pitt, all the stereotypical handsome Hollywood guys. Mm -hmm. if, if they weren't in the magazines, I would know they were handsome. Eric, just don't even try it. I'm serious. Don't even try it. I, I, I don't see it. But women... So, when, 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 when women talk about Elders Elba, Elba I don't, I'm not so, Elders I Elba? watched The Wire yeah. when nobody knew who Idris Elba was. Yeah, okay. Why do you know his name? I I can't even pronounce his name, but you know his name. Because that's all y'all talk about. He was going to be the day he was going to be. They Eric, were, get on your side. The rumor was he was going to be the, the uh, in the running for James Bond. I really like James Bond. But that's besides the point. Mm -hmm. So I you, didn't even know until like. You didn't even know that he was a handsome. Because he didn't come out as a, a sex symbol until the wire went off the air. And then I started seeing, oh, it's interesting. To me, he looks like a regular guy I went to school with. Like, I don't. So. <laughs> <laughs> what school did you go to? All right. So case in point about women having girl crushes, do you remember when you were really going to the YMCA a lot and involved in a lot of the different aerobics classes? Draining the pasta. Yes, I do remember that. So you would always come home and tell me, because you became really friendly with a lot of the aerobics instructors. Uh-huh. And you would tell me how all the women in the aerobics classes would just develop these girl crushes on the aerobics instructors and follow them around like the Pied Piper <laughs> of aerobics. Right. So why was that? That was because women appreciate other women being fit. And they really want it, you know, to be around. You guys know? want sports and stuff all oh, day. Oh, no, Eric. Don't even do it, Eric. Don't even do it. How many guys are, how many guys are at these football games wishing they could be best friends with these football players? But you guys aren't calling them gay or whatever but anyway we're gonna move on all right you make a good point about the sport okay right. so but you guys like the, the what is it the rihanna, the rihanna Navy, the beehive <laughs> whoever likes you know all of them taylor swift versus katie perry whatever y'all you guys follow women and you develop crushes on them because we find what they do very admirable. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and saute this chicken with a little olive oil and put a little seasoning on it. That's all. Anyway, what was the other article you read, Eric? So the other one, I'm gonna have to look at a list here because this is a long list. And so I, I just put a lot of little olive oil in the pan. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, insert the chicken. All right, so the other, the other article I read um, is called 23 Trends Guys Hate But Women Love. 23 what? Trends that Trends. guys hate but women love. Trends. T-R-E-N-D-S. Trends. Mm -hmm. Like fashion trends. Alright. And we talked about this a little bit before. Like some of the stuff that, that you wear like rompers, which make women look like four-year-olds. But that's the size of one. So, who, who hates rompers? Who does not like a 
romper. Here's the thing, if men hate rompers, I think it's because they are being very insensitive of the time it takes for women to get dressed. Do you understand that a romper already has the top and the bottom built in? I think this next one though, the heavy eye makeup, the eye makeup and the eyelashes. Like I've noticed now when I watch TV, like I know women have always, you know, done the fake lash thing. But right, now guys, I'm sorry babe, I'm getting ready to put a little pesto in and then next I will add in my sunglasses tomato. But now it's getting to a point where like I see these women on TV and they talk and it's like they have they like this when they talk. So that's just, you know, my opinion. Like I said, ladies, I'm sure, and we love to hear your feedback or maybe we can do a video with you babe on stuff that guys wear that you guys don't like or guys wear that we can't pull off. I know for me personally, like I said, you'll never see me in a ultra tight, you know, workout shirt or in a tank top. Why not? You don't think you can pull off a compression workout top? No, maybe 20 years ago. Eric stays in Eric's lane. <laughs> all right, guys. So it is all done. And as promised, we are back for the um, taste test. The taste test. So we have a little Italian salad here on the side. We have our pesto Alfredo chicken with bow tie pasta. And to drink, Eric, we're going to have, I was telling them about this um, Tropicana tangerine lemonade. We love this stuff, yeah, as good. you can see. It is really, really good. But I was telling them what we do is um we'll do half water and half of the juice and it kind of you know takes away some yeah, of the sugar don't, you don't do that no it's all sugar for me i <laughs> do half juice half water but anyway uh, all right so let's let's taste this i'll let you go first all right i'm gonna get a little chicken did i get any chicken Eric, use a napkin. I do. It's good. Raised in the woods. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see. Hmm. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know what we could do? I could put it in a little dish, let it in the oven, put a little, um, shredded or grated Parmesan cheese on top, let it kind of melt in, and give it a nice little crust. That's a good idea for leftovers too. That's a real good idea for leftovers. See the type of tips you get from this channel? You get like three or four meals out of this. I'd watch this channel. <laughs> Bye guys!